guys. Thank you for joining me for today's Facebook Live. So today I'm going to be discussing the five must-haves you need to run your launch funnel with ease. It's a fun, fun title, isn't it? So this is the perfect video that you should be watching if you're about to launch your business or your new offer and you're looking for ways to automate your launch funnel with little to no work on your end. So maybe you're also looking for ways to make your launch funnel more profitable and be as successful as it can be. Just picture this. So waking up in the morning and seeing you just made 10K in one night, all resulting from your launch funnel. Or imagine having a full roster of clients within one week of your launch. It really is possible. And with these five must-haves you need to run your launch funnel with ease, you will be well on your way to making that first 10K in no time. So let's get started. And I apologize for my camera skipping. I don't know why this is happening on my end, um, but we'll just power through and, and see if it fixes itself. Okay, so your launch funnel is really all about building a relationship while seeding the value you're offering. With that being said, you know, having different ways to show how you can solve a problem or showing the benefits of your offer will truly make an impact on your prospective clients. Yes, there's no doubt that creating the perfect offer is super important, but marketing it early and creating the funnel correctly is what's going to ultimately land you sales. All right, I apologize. I am going to close out of some different windows. I'm one of those people that have a crazy insane amount of uh, tabs open <laughs> and I'm wondering maybe that's what's making my computer run so slow right now. Okay, anyways, back to this. So the number one tip is build a landing page. Like this isn't rocket science. Your first impression really does mean everything and that's exactly what a landing page is going to help you with. So your landing page has to be clear straight to the point to showcase what you're offering and how you can solve the problem your prospective clients are struggling with. A landing page is essentially a one-page website known as a lead capture page. <clears throat> when someone clicks on your link to what you're offering, they should be immediately taken to this page to learn more about um, how they can purchase, book a call, or sign up for your opt-in offer, whatever it might be. Your landing page should also explain the next steps your client can take, which doesn't always mean a sale. Sure, you want to have the option for them to purchase your offer on your landing page, but you really also want to give them the option to sign up to learn more. Okay, so tip number two is your email opt-in. This is where, you know, an opt-in offer is something that you are offering for free to entice people to join your email list. And with that email list, you're essentially going to use it as a way to showcase the benefits of what you're offering while honestly just providing tons of value on a consistent basis. I mean, consistency is key. That is what I teach all the time. Your email list is going to be the biggest stream of income for your lunch. So you want to make sure to nurture those relationships, be consistent with the people on your list while directing them down your lunch funnel. And an opt-in offer can be honestly anything from a free PDF, an ebook, an online course. That list can honestly just go on and on and on. The more creative you are, the more opt-in, your opt-in will stand out and the more people will sign up. I even have people like my own clients, um, their opt-in is like an event, um, like a free event or um, a video, a meditation video, something along those lines. So the third tip is an email sequence. Your email sequence is just as important as the opt-in offer. You can't have one without the other. And the sequence is what's going to save you tons of time while also helping to market your services and stay on top of mind for your clients. So when people sign up for your opt-in offer, you don't want that to be your only email to them when they first sign up. You want to capture them and hold them there. You really want to sell to them and showcase what you have to offer and setting your emails into a sequence with super valuable information is ultimately what's going to lead to not only relationships, but to those sales that you need. 
In your sequence, you want your first email to be your welcome email, including your opt-in offer. This is just an introduction while also providing them what they signed up for. You want this to be sent to them right away before they just forget and move on. The following emails should be content-based, provide them with value while also giving them call to action so they can be more inclined to get back to your landing page and purchase that offer. So I highly suggest, and this is something people always ask me, how many emails do I need in a sequence? And I would highly suggest like three to five. It could even be five to seven. And this would be set into a period of over a course of a few weeks. So even if you're not sending out weekly newsletters, they're still hearing from you and you're still on top of mind. And yeah, so number four, tip number four, this is my favorite. So you have to give them a wow and how factor. So your email sequence is going to be providing tons of value to them. But if they didn't sign up for your email opt-in, how else can you make your launch successful? And that is by creating videos. The videos, I think I say this almost in every single video that I do, they're outperforming any other content out there compared to Instagram where the photos, written content, blogs, videos receive the most views and the highest engagement ratings. And because of that reason, I also want to add in my travel blog, datesinthestates.com. We were pretty much only um, written content, and now this week we just announced that we're going to be a blog instead of a blog. One, because um, we just don't have time to write anymore, and two, because videos are literally outperforming any other content. I mean, we released a video just the other day talking to people about how we are changing our blog into a blog, and it was amazing how much the engagement on our Instagram went up because of it. So yeah, definitely there's, there's proof in the pudding. So you really want to take this into consideration when marketing yourself and creating your launch funnel. Whether you're a blog, running a coaching business, a video is probably your biggest asset. You can create Instagram TV videos, YouTube videos, and you can also do the same for Facebook Lives like this one. I reuse them all the time. And that's going to provide value to your audience to give them that wow and how factor. You can end each video with a call to action to visit your landing page and I promise you, I promise you by sharing your story and providing valuable content through video, your launch will automate those sales in no time. So let's look at tip number five, the last tip. Above all else, you know, consistency is what matters the most when creating your launch funnel. So tip number five is creating consistency. You can't just create your funnel and expect to make, make buttloads of cash. You have to create the content, share it, educate your audience, and promote the hell out of it. Whether it's your email sequence, your video content, posting to social media, consistency is key to automating those sales in your launch funnel. And how I stay consistent is by having Trello boards and lists to help me stay organized. Asana is also a really great tool so I don't miss out on any of the tasks that I need to complete. Um, other apps are Hive or Monday. They're all really great platforms to use to keep you consistent. Not to mention scheduling platforms like Hootsuite, Later, Buffer, Planoly, things like that. Um, by having boards and lists, even if it's just Excel spreadsheets, that's totally fine. I used to do that too. It makes a huge difference when planning your content keeping track of your leads and honestly just staying consistent. So that's the five tips all in a nutshell. Um, I have to say this is probably one of the biggest areas I help my clients is, in is not only do I create the content, but I help them plan their consistency and content strategy to streamline their launch and automate those sales. So if getting your business on track and outsourcing those time-consuming tasks like getting organized, creating content, and setting up your launch funnel for success is something you're so beyond ready to do, then I'd love to chat with you and talk more about how I can help you start seeing better results and free up hours of your time. Even if you are not looking for done-for-you work from an OBM, then I also am offering consulting, um, so it would be about six calls over a period of six weeks. I would take you through step by step what it means to be creating content and being consistent with it. And by the end of it, you will see a huge, huge increase in your visibility. So yeah, any of that, if any of that um, 
sounds good to you, if you feel like you're struggling with things and you want to know how to fix it, honestly, just book a discovery call with me. PM me, DM me, whatever you want to call it. I would love to hear from you. I hope you guys um, found these tips super, super helpful. Thank you for watching, and I will be um, in touch soon. All right, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.